Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Today is another day in Ling Ling life. Yes. And if you're wondering my setting here, well, it's just because this morning when I woke up, there was no electricity in our dorm anymore. We kind of knew it because they told us a few days ago that we were low on um, the electricity fee, if that makes sense. And uh, I didn't even know we had to pay because we are supposedly, uh, we are supposed to stay here for free. But <clears throat> yeah, anyway. <laughs> Um, so we collected the money, but because it was weekend, we cannot pay during the weekend. So luckily, we saved enough energy, not energy, <laughs> we saved enough, enough electricity to last until last night. But this morning when I woke up, there was no Wi-Fi and no light. So I had to pee in the darkness. <laughs> yeah, China. So anyway, I just walked up here from my dorm. <clears throat> down to here because we have like small restaurants here and I have their Wi-Fi password from earlier on and their Wi-Fi is really good sometimes so what I'm doing is I'm sitting inside here on the, the couch here and then just uploading a video or two you know wasting my time because it's 8 a.m. and the workers are working hard from midnight uh, un until midnight and again from 7 in the morning so yeah, I can't sleep when it's that noisy outside. And my computer is working hard. So before the vegetable guy, he comes around to disturb me, I thought I would tell you guys a little story, but now a truck is coming, so... Yeah. I have a few stories to tell, actually. I did more TV uh, shooting yesterday, and yeah. As I said earlier, it was a fun experience for me, but it's not for me. I don't know, I'm just not excited about the manuscript, I'm not excited about learning these things and like memorizing. Um, I don't know, it's weird because I love, 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 love make these videos, but I'm just more of a storyteller, so when I'm not allowed to tell my story or tell a story, I just get, I don't know, not so excited. <laughs> Anyway, maybe it's because I'm used to the things I do make me super excited. So if a thing doesn't make me super excited, I'm just like, oh, it's so dull. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. My friend Luke, he's uh, making uh, a lot of episodes and he loves it. So I think he should just do that and then I'll do my thing, which is making your videos, right? By the way, sorry for the background noise. It's just China outside, of course, all the time. <laughs> so another thing I wanted to tell you was that uh, two days ago, my roomie, she called me at four in the morning and she was like, please come downstairs with some cash because there's a taxi driver and he says, we don't have any cash and he doesn't want to take our WeChat payment because usually we pay on WeChat or Alipay. Um, so many people don't carry around cash anymore. So. I was like, I don't have any cash because I use my phone as well, but I can go down and talk to him because he don't understand Chinese. So I walked down and taxi driver was like, oh yeah, I took them here, but like I drove another way because there were too many red lights on the normal road. And we were like, but it's supposed to be 40 quai, but now you want 115. Like even if you took a little bit of a longer route like that's not possible that's like a trip that's more expensive than going to the airport which is like really far away so he was becoming very angry and I said you know we can pay on Alipay I have Alipay because they only had WeChat they said we can also pay on Alipay and he was like ah oh, no stupid foreigners get out of my way and like he jumped out of the car and he started to like shove us from the back and like, ah, you know, and I was, I was scared. I was, I was a little scared. I haven't, uh, I haven't tried anything like this for a really, really, really long time. And like, I don't know if it's because I usually take uh, Uber a lot, but the thing is like this taxi looks so legit and the driver looked legit and because in China there are many different kinds of taxis and we kind of know how to get around those problems but 
This time, I was like, I have no idea how he has done this. Like, he must have done something to the taximeter so the taximeter would run faster. I don't know. If you guys know, please let me know. I would love to know how it's working because that was very interesting, but also super annoying. Anyway, he didn't want to take any of our payments, which is a little weird because even the small tuk-tuks um, we drive in without any doors and stuff, they can still take our WeChat. Like, it's basically just you scan a code and then you pay. So, it was really weird. So we just got some new friends here. <laughs> Miu Miu gave us her uh, turtle. Yeah. <laughs> what was the name again? Wang Tai. Wang Tai. This is Wang Tai and Murugaba. I don't know if you can even see him. He's quite small. <laughs> There's a little, uh, a slight uh, size difference here between the two friends, but they still like each other, right? Well. I don't know. We don't, we don't <laughs> sure about that. Nobody knows. Hey, Wang Tai. So they're staying in our room for a little bit so they can have some sunshine. Well, you, oh, just maybe we just call it light. It's not really, <laughs> it's not really very sunny outside. But uh, <laughs> yeah, sunny. yeah. Like the you like the light, right? And yes, we still didn't get our electricity <laughs> back. <laughs> we did pay, but. Uh, yeah, the IE can't tell us anything, of course, so we'll just take it as it comes and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something you have to learn when you're in China, I think. We just saw a little funny English over here, the girl in the jacket there. <laughs> what was it again, Joanna? Uh, you don't eat... Something wrong. Oh. No, you don't eat on time. Something wrong with your mind. You don't eat on time, something wrong with your mind. Yeah, it said that on the back of her jacket. <laughs> so we just finished our class and now me and Jasmine, we went to the canteen to have some food. And if you haven't guessed it yet, then we're going to eat dumplings, of course. Right now we're just waiting for the dumplings to be ready, so I'm just looking at the two guys uh, who are making noodles here. It's really cool, they're making it by hand and like throwing around the dough. It's really nice. Just gonna show you guys. There you go, they're working hard on it. They like throw it around and up and down and then down in the boiling water here. And then this dude, he's picking it up and giving it to the students. How cool is that? They make it so fast. <laughs> and these are the funny uh, cakes we can have here. They look nothing like at home, but actually we tried this one last time and it was quite nice. It's only four kwai, so really cheap. But I should probably cut down on that, so we're just waiting for the dumplings. That's how dumplings just preparing here, getting ready. Jasmine, are you ready to eat dumplings? <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Yeah, I think so too. They look ready. They're swimming, floating on the water. Actually, we for the dumplings, each meal we paid 3.75 uh, kwai, which is literally nothing. It's really amazing. We're just waiting for Ai to find them. Hey. No, yeah, yes. There we go. Oh, so ready to eat. Uh, yeah, other guys are yelling. I feel like it doesn't matter what country you're in. Ah. Mm. 
That's not a lot. I thought we bought more. Okay. Yeah, so we just realized this is just one portion. So this one. Take us to Sangama. Sanlyama. Oh, ha. Oh, that's too much. I know. That's a lot of dumplings. Ah, oh, okay. So these are ours. Yay! This is real student life in China. We are in the massive canteen just getting ready to eat all our cheap dumplings, freshly made, and uh, we're quite excited. And I also got the apple water, which is nice. Like China, they started to produce a little more of like different beverages without too much sugar, so I really enjoyed that. Uh, at some point when we get a fridge, I'm gonna make like water with uh, fruit in so we don't have to buy all the time but yeah we'll see when that's gonna happen <laughs> wow okay so i basically take one little spoon not even like a little sip of uh, spicy here in mine and jasmine's is just swimming <laughs> in spicy <laughs> oh my god she's brave <laughs> so we just came back from school and we did a little bit of shopping because Jasmine thought we needed this for our poor bums yeah that's a pillow with a little smiley on <laughs> so we can have it here on the chair and enjoy so we won't get cold bums how is it is it good it's so nice see Yay! It feels so good. Yay! It feels good. So on that note, I'm just gonna say thank you guys for watching this vlog from Lingling Ling in Beijing. I hope you guys are having a great day, evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye and 再见. Mwah.